What up, kings, queens, prince, and princesses? Welcome to another day of vlogging. Today is our very first day in Louisiana. Yes, I just woke up from a nap, as you can see. My wife and I, we were um, taking a nap. But this is our very first day in Louisiana. Everybody already outside because I, I just woke up from a nap. My wife, she was asleep earlier. She woke up and took the kids out. So I guess they don't have to be cooped up in the room. But I just got up. It is our very first day in Louisiana. What we did is as soon as we got here, we came here, we went to Golden Corral. As soon as we went to Golden Corral, everybody came back, took a shower, and went to sleep. And I'm just not waking up. It's dark already. Yeah, so it's dark outside, so I'm about to go out here and meet up with everybody. When we watching the um, hurricane now, and it's moving more west so it's going directly to temple and tiara mama we invited her mama to come but she didn't want to make that drive and now she called when we was at golden corral she was like i'm getting scared now i wish i would have came yeah we invited her and but she's just gonna go to a shelter at a high school my wife's trying to convince her to go to usf to the shelter but i'm about to head out and go meet up with everybody Need my help? Give me a hug. What y'all was doing? No, that's not ours. As I was walking out, they was coming up. Where y'all going? I'm gonna just put this in the room. What everybody do? Your mom just went to the room. I guess they figured out um, what it's eating. She killed him. She just called me. See what we was doing. I guess we're about to drop this stuff off and head out. I just woke up. Well, my wife and them just came back. And she just said, Davion cut his freaking hair. Come here. Come here. Stand up. Turn. He cut his hair with this. That's my razor. Before I went to sleep, I took that from him. So he went and got it again and cut his hair. Why you cut your hair? Because I don't cut my hair. Here, we, we're leaving, Dave. We're not staying. Let's go put your shoes on. They came and got their jackets. They said it's cold out there. It's cool. Cool out there. When we was on our way here, it was like 60 some, 62 degrees last night. All those places we went to go try to find gas, it was 62 degrees, so it's cool out there. He got on his Ninja Turtles. So my wife did confirm her mother did go to USF, and they put her inside of a classroom because this storm. <laughs> because this storm. Oh, so she went with two of our cousins and one of her aunts. And I was showing y'all on the TV. This storm is getting pretty bad. So it's in Key West now? Oh, Key West storming. You see that rain in Key West? Mm -hmm. I know my uncle them said that they feeling wind and rain. And pumping them? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I hope everybody stays safe because this storm is getting stronger. And it's heading straight towards Tampa now because it keep heading west. Everyone thought it's going to head that's east. Yeah, everyone thought that was going to head east, but it keep heading west. So, I hope everyone stays safe. 
and find a safe place. And I know it's quite a few of our subscribers that are in Florida. Please be safe. Find someone safe, somewhere safe. Do not stick it out and just be sitting inside your hometown if it's coming to you. Find somewhere safe. That's what we did. Yeah, they have live camera footage from Key West right now. And it's raining. It's some wind. I hope everyone left though. Because it's close to the. But we're about to head out right now. We're going to head out right now. Hey, y'all. I was playing basketball. Okay, who's I was playing basketball. I was playing basketball. He was shooting. He was I was playing basketball. Oh. My wings. Fly. 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 Why are you I climbed my feet. I climbed my feet. Guys, 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 We just left the hotel. Well, we ain't need a hotel. We just left out our room to um go get something to eat. They woke, well, they ain't wake me up. I woke up by myself, but they said we're going to go get something to eat. They woke my daddy up, and both of them forgot the key to their car in our car. So I got to go back up here and get the key to our car. Because we about to leave with no keys. Well, we can't leave with no keys. That's impossible. Now I had to walk way up here. Go to our room for the keys that she forgot. All the way. It feel like I'm getting sick because it's cool outside. And I don't know what's going on. I forgot what room we in. I think this one right here. But, yeah, I feel like I'm getting sick. My nose keep running. It's a different climate. This it. I ain't know what room it was in. Got the keys that she forgot. Now we can go. We don't know what we eating though. We just gonna ride and find something, I guess. I guess. I guess. I'm gonna take the stairs because it's closer to what we, well, not to where we park. Closer to where they at. It's a pretty nice hotel, it's real nice. Oh, this way. Here. I guess they're trying to find out what we're gonna eat. I got the keys. 
you're going to have to wait when the people make it. <laughs> we are finally about to eat what we eat. We, we don't know, but see. we gonna eat. We gonna eat something. We hungry, Which and we gonna like, eat. Like Chip yeah, Chip Fil A. That sound good. I really don't got taste for that, but it's well, quick. I maybe we can eat I eat Chip Fil A. Maybe we'll save it for tomorrow. All right, we'll save it for tomorrow. We'll save it for tomorrow. We'll save it for tomorrow. Oh, we at we came to Applebee's and um we found a group of people from New Orleans, and they got the real deal accent. They, oh, I should, <laughs> but they got the real deal accent. They from New Orleans, and I asked the guy where can we get some good New Orleans food. He said the best place is to go to New Orleans. We in Homer, I believe that's what it's called. So we will have to make that drive because we want to taste some good New Orleans like shrimp, fish, crawfish, all that good stuff. And they got the rip. They just asked me to take a picture of their whole little party because they had a birthday party. But I took went over there, took that picture. They got some real deal New Orleans accents. Real deal. My auntie, she's been sleepy the whole trip. We need to wake her up. Where's she at? She been sleepy the whole trip. She got a headache. We don't need that in Louisiana. We need some up tempo. Get up, wake up. No sleepy, sleepy. Man, we on vacation. Sleepy, no we not. We on vacation. We away from the storm. On vacation. <laughs> no, this we ain't We turned this into a vacation. I tried to get it. You see it? <laughs> what? Yeah, he said, I'm in her. That's my cousin team. They they Chattanooga. They from Tennessee. They playing LSU today. And he hurt, so he not playing. But they playing LSU in LSU. So he in Louisiana. You know I always tell y'all what I eat every time we come out to eat. So we at Chili's. We left Applebee's because they act like they ain't want to serve us. So we just left them. They ain't giving them our business. So we just came down to Chili. And we got... The, um, I'm getting a Southern Smokehouse burger with none of the pickles and tomatoes and all that. Just a plain burger with they special sauce. That's what I'm eating with the fries with the honey mustard. I don't know what my wife eating. I don't know what everybody else eating. So I pull out the camera when everybody get their food so I can just show y'all. What's that? All right, guys, we have a small little dilemma. Hold on, let me cut this down. We have a little small dilemma. So, Chili's, we at Chili's because it seemed like Applebee's, they didn't really want to serve a bit party. I guess they're not used to bit parties. So, they really didn't want to serve us. They said because they had a party right before us. I guess they were treating them badly or something like that so they really didn't want to serve us so we came down to Chili's so Chili's they took us fine no problem and we get the order in our food and they don't have any honey mustard I have to have honey mustard with my burgers and fries I have to have it so oh and she said they don't have any honey mustard because the storm in Houston I guess that's where they get their honey mustard from they don't have it because of the storm so now I have to go down here to Applebee's. I'm gonna buy like six or seven honey mustards and then bring it back to Chili's. So that's my little small dilemma. I found the way to fix my problem. So if you got problems, don't complain about it. Just go out and fix it yourself. So I gotta go down the street to Chili's and get some um, honey mustard. Here we go. All right, guys, I made it back to Chili's. I got the honey mustard right there because they ain't have honey mustard. But I went to... um. What that Applebee's? That was taking forever. Like I ordered some freaking food or something, and they weren't even busy or nothing. Oh, I don't want to get copyrighted. I'm gonna move my phone thinking that's my food. 
But I guess they bringing out the food now. Oh, and this water they got got my stomach hurting like this tap water or something. It got like a tar taste to it. That water, it's it got my stomach hurt. Yeah, it's like yeah, that water is nasty. Like it comes straight from out the water hose. Water hose water don't even taste like that. Mm. All right, guys, we leaving Chili's. This food was good, delicious. This food was delicious. <coughs> My daddy cold. He tried to run to the car. He ran to the car, but this food was good. That burger, the first time I ordered no cheese because I'm allergic to cheese, but they put cheese on the burger, so I had to send it back. I didn't want to. I tried to eat the burger, but I had to send it back because I'm allergic. I just taste all the cheese on there, so I sent it back. They sent me a brand new burger. That burger was delicious. Everything after that was good. That food, it was hot and fresh too. It burnt my tongue, so my tongue feeling a little weird, but... We instead of the same thing though. Oh. But um we're about to head back to the hotel. Good thing everything close to us. Like this restaurant like two minutes away from us. So we headed back to the hotel right now. Oh and my wife who hers she ordered some buffalo wings and some french fries the first time they brought hers even the manager he came out he was like those don't look right so they brought her some fresh ones everything was good we made it back to the hotel it wasn't too far away but it is cold in here it's cold it's cold. i don't know what's the difference it's different parts of the world but it ain't like it's too far like say we wail up north or something it's not too far from Tampa, but it's cool in Louisiana. Well, the part that we in is cool. But we walk into um, our room. And I'm going to try to get a game of basketball. Me and my daddy going to be on the team against my uncle and my cousin. We're going to see who win that. So hopefully tomorrow we do that. And tomorrow we trying to go to New Orleans to get some of that good old New Orleans food. Finally time to do what I've been putting off. Trying not to do all day because I ain't been feeling like it. Edit, edit, edit. And this is going to be a long video. So even inland with Irma as it continues to move on off toward the north. So some of these impacts Man, my wife and I, we watching this news, and this is getting crazy, very crazy. We getting worried for our family members because it's some of our family members that they can't leave because they have to work. And, like, majority, we got quite a few family members that work for the city on my wife's side and my side, and they can't leave at all because they have to help with all of this for Hurricane Irma. So they have to stay there and it keep moving west and it's going from that's naples it's going for naples once it hit naples tampa is right after naples so if it hit naples no matter if it go east or west it's gonna hit tampa and i'm we really scared for our family members because we got quite a few family members that in her mother is the she should have just came and she's saying that herself that she should have just came but Whoa, what that's that? Te no, that's a, oh, but the thing say Tampa Bay. This is from Miami. This is crazy. Mm. They put, like, for people trying to find, like, go out of it. No, they setting curfews at nighttime. Say like they gotta be in the house by eight o'clock. Yeah. Because the people who trying to break in different businesses, breaking people's oh. houses, go looting. Oh. So if you yeah. out, you get in trouble. What does that? Right now, and as you can see, we are getting one of those outer tropical squalls from Hurricane Irma. I wonder where he at. Like the winds down to 120 miles an hour. Still Man, this is crazy. And her mother, 
luckily her mother she did make it to usf and they so far her mother is safe inside of you usf and they got um At first, we was like, oh, we knew it was serious to be like, okay, Hurricane Irma is coming. But we didn't know for sure that it would hit Temple. It was possibilities that it could go. So we just left just to leave, just in case we didn't want to um, stay there, just in case. But it's like everywhere on the news now is saying that it is going to hit Temple Bay. And this is serious. We have family members in Tampa on both sides. Some of her family members is at USF, and some of my family members, they going inside her, um, my aunt's, her job, what that's called, center, shelter, what it's called? What, what your mama got going to? Shelter? Well, it's just called shelter. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to shelters. My aunt is going to a shelter at her job. I don't know if my, the rest of my aunts. And my cousin, right before we left, because we live in the same complex as my cousin, and he seen us leaving. He was like, man, it ain't going to hit us. We just going to get a tropical storm. This thing is coming right for Temple. And before we left, I said, man, if this keep coming to Temple, Y'all better leave. Do not stay here. I told him that. This is crazy. That's Hollywood Beach, Florida. My my on my dad's side, his brother and his daughters and sons live in Pompano Beach, Florida. That's down south. They're at home. They even have a pool in their backyard. They didn't they didn't leave. So I've been checking on them. I spoke to my uncle probably like about four hours ago, he said it was good. But as of right now, it's starting to hit. I just text. I know it's like one something there. But hopefully respond back and give me an update because I'm kind of scared. Yeah, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Like, we didn't know for sure. It was just a maybe or if. But it's like it's. It's for sure. It's for sure now. And this is crazy. Oh, I think somebody knocking on our door. This is crazy. That's why we pat. We we over pat because, like, my dad them and my aunt and uncle and all them, they pat just for this trip. We over pat just in case we go home and we don't have anything. That's why we over pat. We got enough stuff so at least we don't have to start completely over. We can. We have our everyday clothes, shoes. We got all of our important documents, all that from up under the, I ain't going to say what it was, but we got all of our important documents, like our birth certificates, social security cards, everything. So at least we can move forward and we don't have to go and get everything and start from square one. So that's why we did pack the way we packed, because we got a lot of stuff. Our bags, I got pretty much all the clothes that I wear every single day. It's a lot of, I got a lot of brand new clothes that I never wore before. And they all in the closet, closet full of clothes. She have a closet full of clothes with tags still on them. Me as well. The kids have a closet full of clothes with, oh, you got it all? She got all day clothes, but she didn't get Dominique uniforms. So we will have to go out and buy that again if everything this is crazy. And my daddy and them, they stay in South Temple. That it can just rain now. A hard rain, a normal hard rain. And they side of town is flooded because they so low. Everything is flooded. So imagine a hurricane. Everything is going to be gone. And they just packed enough stuff for, they just packed enough stuff for this trip. That's we try to pack as much stuff as we can so we can at least try to continue to live and don't have to start completely over. But I'm gonna put this camera down. I that should be enough for the vlog for you guys. I just wanna give our little spill on this because this is crazy. 
this, our whole life can change after if this hit temper. Our whole life can change. This is crazy. But I love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Please keep us in your prayers. Keep our family in your prayers because we still have a lot of family there. Keep us in your prayers and we love you guys. And if you like this video, again, like this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And always remember, you are a king. You are a queen. You are a prince. And you are a little bitty princess. Bye. This is crazy.